The largest, most powerful earthquake in the region's history has crippled the country. The earthquake rocked this impoverished Caribbean nation late this afternoon. Many Haitian Americans endured an agonizing wait for word on their loved ones. What's the plan, David? Just walking, trying to find my mom, man. There you got nothing. Nobody got nothing yet. Anybody? Water, food, medication. Nobody got none of that. There's thousands of people injured. We've already run out of some stuff that we need already, but we're gonna, we're gonna get creative and we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. We're the first African nation to be free. Powers to be don't like that. The French don't like that. America doesn't like that. Haiti had to pay France for the people who were seen as property for their freedom. So it's this really twisted way of crippling a country economically. I'm, I'm constantly asking myself to, the question, you know, what's my purpose and why do I exist? This country is what made me who I am. And that's a part of me. You guys being here today, we're supporting, we're changing the lives of people. The plan will be to rebuild, or this will be the start of Kai Tita Community Resource Center that we're looking to build. Haiti is a poor country, you know? They say that all the time. But I don't think it's true. We are a rich country. The Haitian Americans have to play a role. If not, all these international organizations are going to be the ones dictating the future of our country.